Hey aunties, so I'm here with baby Serena and I'm gonna attempt to get her dress on camera with you guys. Um, this outfit, I don't know if it's gonna fit her or not, but I've had it for <laughs> probably two years. Um, bought it from Once Upon a Child. Um, bought it before a silicone baby that I had that name was Journey. Um, before she even came to me, I'd start nesting for her and I bought this outfit and never put it on her and I really loved it and it's supposed to be like you know 4th of July you know maybe Memorial Day something like that it's very you know red white and blue so <laughs> but of course I don't know it's pretty big so I'm gonna still try to see if Serena can fit it. Um, she didn't get dressed for the holidays. And who knows, she may still have it on by the 4th of July. Um, I just haven't had the time to like dress out all my babies like I normally do. And you know, it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. Let's wear on the babies. So, although I got a feeling that they complain about it behind my back, <laughs> um, it's good for them. You know, they stay, which I don't know. I don't think that changing them does anything to the quality of the doll. I don't, I really don't. I think as long as you're careful and you're not having lotions and oils on your hands and perfumes and all that stuff and getting it on there silicone or their vinyl that they're okay um if they're made right matted right um unless you're like being overly excessive like and i've done that before i'm not gonna lie i've changed my babies like two and three times a day every day for like six months one of them paris which is my oldest baby i've had her for about three years now um she was made by yogi but she's still fine so nothing changed with her pain or anything um, but, you know, I don't know if the average painter, you know, put that much quality into the baby. Yeah, it's going to be big. I figured it would be a little big. I'd probably have to shrink that. Um, probably need to shrink that, uh, onesie down. I don't know. And now I don't know what I did, how the skirt goes. Did I flip it? What did I do? That's the only thing about this type stuff. Like, it has no direction. Like, you don't know where's the front, where's the back. It's just like this stuff is just like on a rope, like, and it just spins. But anyway. So nevertheless, mommy, get it on me. She looks really good in red, so. I look really good in red aunties and it's got the you know the, the elastic waist so I know the skirt will fit her I just gotta get it on a little chunky butt she's not really all that chunky she's more long than anything but she does have little fat little thighs see I do have fat little thighs aunties Uh, there we go. I like it. I'm just going to have to probably play with it off camera to get it all going the right direction. <sighs> because I think I flipped it around or something when I was laying it here. So... Nevertheless, you guys get the idea, right? So, there we go, like that. And then I have this little red headband again. I bought that one from Once Upon a Child as well. And, so just give her a little red headband. And see, there we go, see, there I am, my teeth. I'm all dressed. 
And for those that are new to my channel, um, Serena is the Jenna Sculpt by Claire Taylor. Um, she is one of the kits that Claire was, and I'm not sure if they're sold out. They probably sold out by now. But um, her kit was being sold for like $850, I believe. It came with the head, the whole, the head, the bot, the head, the arms and legs, the belly plate, and the cloth body. Um, but of course it wasn't put together and it wasn't painted. Um, that's how she sold the kit. Um, and then you would have to find someone to paint it. But my little girl, Serena, was the, she did two prototypes and I think she did an artist proof. But she did two prototypes. One was um, I don't know. But one was a Caucasian baby. I have lost my train of thought. And one was an ethnic baby. And um, so my Serena is the prototype. So she is completely assembled, painted, you know, sculpted, rooted, everything by Claire Teller. So I was um, blessed enough to get this little one from her and um so yeah you just gotta be quick you gotta be ready and watching the website and her page when she have available babies because like she had a jan jan up and i really like that i think that baby was like um probably one of the most beautiful jan jans i've seen the painting on it um because she paints all of them different and you know some of them the details are different the coloring is darker or lighter and i really love that one and you know what i think that mommy that mommy is on youtube maybe i don't know but um i don't know if she is or not Anyway, but that, um, that baby was gorgeous, but it, that baby came up and went so fast. Like, so yeah, you have to be kind of ready. That's why I just go ahead and like, when I'm looking for another baby, I just go ahead and start saving for it. So whenever an artist pop up with a baby, rather it be Claire or, you know, another artist, I'll have money because a lot of times they don't wait on layaway when they got people that's going to pay all at one time. And so you kind of miss out when you don't have it ready to go. So um, I learned that. And it's kind of hard because it's hard to save for me. It's hard for me to save for my hobby because I'll end up using the money for other stuff. And I never quite get it all saved up so um i did i was really disappointed when i was saving for a baby and when kingston came available but i'm gonna um try it again and save up but i don't know it's been hard because i'm working on some house projects and those projects are taking quite a bit of money from me and so i'm not um I'm not doing so well. I, I had a lot saved up and then I went out and bought, you know, some stuff for the house. And then I started putting back and then I went out and shot for the baby, you know, the real baby. And then, so it's like, it's been hard, but I still have some money saved um, and I'm working on it, so. So yeah, so saving is the key to get these babies, but they're very expensive and I just, but I just want really good quality dolls in my collection because I know that it's going to come a point where I'm not going to be able to collect anymore and I don't want to have babies in my collection that either I don't really care for or... 
like, I can't hear you, mommy. Um, or babies that's not going to last. So I need good quality babies and babies that I'm totally in love with at this point in my collection so that when I do get to the point where I can't afford to buy any more dolls, I have babies that I absolutely love in my collection and that I can be content with what I have because it's kind of like playing for me. I feel like it's playing. I'm playing musical chairs. Like, okay, you never know where you're going to stop. And when they pull that seat from up under you, guess what? You're going to hit the bottom. And when I fall on my butt, I want to know <laughs> that I got some decent dolls in my collection. So anyway, I know that's a crazy analogy I just made, but anyway, see you guys later. Just thought I would share baby Serena. Um, again, I'm not using the best uh, camera. I am trying to be in better lighting for you guys. But yeah, she's a pretty big, big, big girl, like good six months size. See you guys later. Bye-bye.